Hello, my name is Kishwani. It's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our geometry skill. Today is our day number 27. The problem is already on the blackboard. I'm going to read it to you just in the event that you have trouble reading my handwriting, although I find that very hard to believe. I'm just joking. How many tiles? How many tiles? of the size and shape shown how many tiles of the size how many tiles of the size and shape shown are needed are needed to completely cover a rectangular floor that is 15 feet by 18 feet so size and shape of the tile which is shown which is not shown yet for you guys is like here this this, this one here Okay. This, we are told that this is right angle, we are told that this is right angle, we are told that this is right angle, this is right angle, this is right angle, and then we are told that this is one foot, this is one foot, this is one foot, this is one foot. That's the shape of the tile that is shown to us. The question simply is, how many of these tiles are going to be needed, if this is the shape of the tiles, how many are needed to cover a rectangular floor which is 15 feet by 18 feet 18 feet by 15 feet so you want to do your kitchen floor and the kitchen floor is 15 feet by 18 feet so you probably get in your car and you go to a hardware store to buy the tiles that you're going to love and you happen to live in the boonies like I do where there's only one hardware store so I go in the hardware store and lo and behold he only carries one tile, one kind of tiles that's it so with a, with a policy outside uh, out, outside in the door there's a policy there which says take it or leave it that's what that's what it says in the inscription so there's only one kind of tile and that's that's what I have to buy and the shape of the tile happens to be this one the question simply is how many of these tiles do I need to buy to do my floor floor is 15 by 18 okay pause the video solve the problem when you have the answer you can resume it I'm going to be quiet for about five seconds to give you the chance to pause and unpause Well, very good. I was going to take a sip out of my cup, as you probably know by now, that is what I do, but I just realized the cup is empty, I forgot to fill it up. Anyway, so how many tiles do we need? In order to figure out how many tiles we need to buy, there are two pieces of information we need. First of all, we need to know what's the square footage of this guy, how much area we need to cover, and secondly, how much, does, how much area does one tile cover? What is the area of this one tile, and how many how much area we need to cover. So let's figure out how, many, how much area we need to cover, which is very simple. We need to cover 15 by 18, nothing to it. 15 by 18 square feet. That's, that's not the tricky part. The tricky part is, what's the area of this shape? How do I figure out? Well, it's quite simple, quite straightforward. Break it up into three parts. See, this is one by one. This is, this is one by one. One foot by one foot. So the area of that one is one square foot. This is one by one. Because this is one foot and this is one foot. So that's one by one. And from here to here is one foot and from here to here is one foot. So that's one by one. So the area of this particular tile is three square feet. Three square feet and we need to cover this much area. We need to cover 15 by 18. And each tile covers three square feet. 15 by 18 square feet each tile covers three square feet as you can see the square feet are going to cancel out the square feet are going to cancel out leaving us with just the number how many need we to buy this is 15 and 18 you can divide uh, 15 by 3 or you can divide 18 by 3 it's up to you it makes no difference so 58 18 times 5 which is very straightforward and simple 18 times 10 we know is 180 and therefore 18 times 5 must be 90 well that's it <coughs> that was it do not if you have been doing so far and I have no control over it because obviously even when I'm teaching over the internet via Skype I, I have no control because the person is not sitting next to me and especially in your case I don't know where you're sitting and what, whatever but do not use the calculator leave the bloody thing alone as I said before save the battery 
save, save the battery of your calculator for the rainy day. Leave it alone. Throw it away. Use your brain. There is no reason whatsoever, there is no reason whatsoever you should have to take out a calculator and go 15 times 18 divided by 3 and if you did that, you're not using your brain. Why do you have to go in such a roundabout way of making 15 by 18, get a huge number and then divide by 3 making, when you can clearly divide 15 by 3 and make it simple? Leave it alone. When there is a need for a calculator, I'll let you know. And if you're curious when that is going to be, the answer is never. I will see you tomorrow on day number 28. Okay? Thanks.